Okay, guys, uh, this is Mongolian Mindset, and today we have Gary with us. Uh, Gary, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Gary from California, Sacramento, and uh, it's a beautiful day out here, and I'm 41 and uh, just chilling. Um, Gary, what got you interested in uh, young, young in psychology or typology? Uh, about like maybe 2001, I was not interested in any of this, but I had a like a big, uh, like a Kundalini awakening, and that that shot me into this experience where I had to figure myself out. You know what I mean? So I started intuitively just kind of unpacking what I was feeling, and that led me to to the mind, cognitive functions, all kinds of different realms of uh, you know. Uh, everything about that psychology or you know or um, philosophy you know everything like that to try to understand what was going on and so I completed that journey for the most part a little bit and uh, yeah so you know I, I don't know exactly I can't really it's hard for me to see myself as far as you know personality wise I think I have an idea of what 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 I might be but I want to just get a third party to like take a look you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. okay um that's pretty dope, man. Um, Thank you. Uh, so you've been doing it since 2001. Wow, that's a lot. Um, no, 2021. My bad, 2021. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, what do you like about it and what do you not like about it? Uh, I love I love it all, man. I love information. I love, um, you know, reading. And I like, uh, yeah, I'm fascinated by the whole thing, honestly. Mm -hmm. What I don't like... Um, I can't really think of anything. I'm into this shit, man. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's all good. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, okay, so uh, how was your childhood, man? My childhood, I I I grew up. I you know before before all of that happened, I would have said it was just fine. It was you know it was good. You know my my dad left my life when I was really young, like twelve. I'd never I've never seen him again since I was twelve, and he passed away. But I always felt like I grew up uh, with. All the things that I, you know, we weren't rich or nothing, or didn't have a lot of money, but I always felt like I always had everything that I, that I wanted or needed, you know, my bikes or my my, my shoes, you know. And so, uh, but but you know, after after that awakening experience, you know, it revealed to me a lot of the things that I didn't receive as far as you know, not having a father, not understanding, you know, that kind of a role about myself, you know, uh, it was a lot of things that I that I didn't know I was missing uh, that, that came to the front forefront for me, but my child, and I had, a, I had a great support system. My grandma, my mom has seven brothers and sisters. So I always felt like I had a, a big family and I knew that I was always going to be okay as far as if anything ever happened. But, but, uh, but in, in looking back at it from outside of there, I kind of went through the whole thing, just sort of blank, you know, pie in the sky, you know, I, I was, I was uh, thinking it was a lot better than it actually was in terms of, you know, the whole experience. So, so it's kind of just a, a double, it's a duality where it's like, it was great. And now I see that, whoa, there was a lot of things missing uh, all of a sudden. And so, so I'm working on that, mm -hmm. but, but, but I think it was cool. It was a good childhood. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, tell me, uh, what do you like about California and what do you dis dislike about California? California, I love, uh, you know, I love the good weather. I love, I love how it's kind of loose with, with, um, you know, it's sort of a kickback state where people are real chill and they're accepting of different cultures and things like that. You know, um, I don't like, you know, how much it costs to live here, you know, taxes and, um, yeah, and, and I love the fact that we have all kinds of, you know, I can drive two hours any direction and go to, I, I got the snow up north, got the ocean out west, I got the, the, the trees out to the east. And so you get a lot of, you know, there's a lot of um, different environments where you can have, you know, different hobbies and excel at them uh, all around me. You know what I'm saying? So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's for the most part. I, I, the biggest thing is I love how there's a, a, a diversity of people here. And they're all sort of, you know, it's it's where we allow each other to sort of have our own, you know, culture, but also be one with each other as well at the same time, you know? 
Uh, what's three words your friends would say about you? They would say, um, let's see here. They would say, um, uh, they'd say I'm smart, picky, and, uh, and optimistic, even though I'm sort of pessimistic, uh, in reality, in a little bit, in a lot of little ways, but still, overall, uh, overall, uh, uh, optimistic or, or holistic. You know what I mean? I'm always looking for like, what's good, uh, uh, for everybody. Kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, why do you say pessimistic? Just because I'm real critical on uh on information, man. I'm very very uh, you know. I'm very detailed on what people say. If, pe if people are saying things and I hear something that's not correct or not true, or maybe I've seen, you know, uh, uh, some, I can just tell when they haven't really validated that kind of thing. I will, I, I, I'm always going to doubt everything until I have either validated it myself or, or it just sounds like it's falling into what I already know. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of times people will tell me an idea or something they want to do and I'll see the holes in it and I'll say, okay, yes, that's true. But, you know, what, what about this? What about that? I like to poke holes into their, into their, into their logic in order to not to, not to, not to like, you know, pew pew their idea, which it can seem like sometimes that's why I say, they say pessimistic, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if um, they've, They've covered that. They've covered that little gap, that little hole. You know what I mean? I I feel like I'm doing a disservice to my friends by by just going along with something that I know may not actually be true fully. And so I'm really good at saying, okay, but did you did you think about this or that or that? And I'm doing it in a way that's sort of trying to be helpful, but it can sound to others like I'm just trying to find a reason why uh, to like not allow them to have their idea or vision. You know what I mean? But that's not my intention. Okay. Um that's dope, man. Um Thanks. if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? And why? Okay. I would wish for let me think here. Let's see. I would wish for I would wish for people to be able to understand each other uh easier, you know. I really because, because, I mean, that's what we're all doing here on this journey. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest challenge. I think that all, all problems, all struggles, and which, which are fine, but they stem from us not understanding, you know, the fact that people are looking at the world in different ways. And those different ways are just as valid as the ways that other people are seeing it. So it's not like a, it's not like a one or another. It's, a, it's one and another are the same thing. We got to know that about each other in order to, to figure that out. So that's the hardest thing. I wish that we could somehow come up with a way in order to like fast forward or, or make that simpler, you know? Uh, and I think that would actually, you know, create a, something that would solve a lot of the other things, you know? The other thing I would wish for is, you know, I mean, I mean you know, five million bucks would be nice or, you know, just some kind of, some kind of financial stability. And, um, you know, just whatever, you know. And uh, I would wish for uh, three, 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 three. Wish for, I wish I knew how to, uh, mm -hmm. how to surf. And I want to surf, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my hobby. I want I want to be a good surfer or something like that. You know, some kind of activity to where, you know, I was really a uh, uh, top of the top of the tier at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, uh, so um, if you were on a team, what do you think uh, are some things some things that you contribute the most? Are we working on anything specific or is it just, hey, just hey, whatever, man? I got for okay. So for me, I gotta know what kind of team I'm on, you know, whatever we're doing in order to know what my strength would be in it. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, do you have like a 
Like if I'm just on, a, if I was just put myself on a team, I'm really good at, uh, at, at. Okay, let's say let's say we have something we're doing right. I don't necessarily come up with a big thing, right? But whenever there's something already made, a system, right? I'm really good at looking inside of it and figuring out how to make it better. You know what I mean? I, I can't necessarily come up with something big, but once it's there, I can say, okay, well, if we took this and that, you know, and we did it like this, maybe we could save a step. Maybe we could save a little bit of time by by adjusting this thing this way. That would make more sense because it would flow into this thing in a way that was more effective. That would translate to, to, to this over here. I can really streamline and make things go better in terms of the inside of some bigger thing that is already created you know i'm not really an inventor but i'm good at like fixing the little details and making them uh more efficient that's what i would offer for the team okay okay dope 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 um what do you see yourself in 10 years you know what's funny is i have no idea but i know i have no idea I don't really know, but I know it's going to be great. I know I'm going somewhere. I don't know where, but I just I just know that I'm going to do something. I'm just waiting for it to come to me, man. There's gonna be something. I'm gonna. It's gonna come together. You know, I have the. It's gonna pop into my head some idea about what I was saying earlier to you about figuring out a way for us to understand how to how to see or know or communicate with each other better you know sort of like what you're doing you know what i mean with this channel you know you know similar to that maybe in a different way but that's i feel like that's my purpose you know or that's my that's what i can uh really bring to the world that has value that may not necessarily come out of college or some kind of degree you know i don't have a college degree or whatever right so either gonna be working a regular job but if i was to do my dream my dream would be that right there you know i see myself doing something to bring awareness uh, uh to the people about about you know spirituality enlightenment self-growth something along those lines okay dope man dope dope um <clears throat> let's see here um if we fast forward your life to 100 right what would be something you think you missed out on Right now, I feel like I missed out on a little bit of, I wish that I was, could know. I know a lot of people, I know about people, but I don't have, like, I, I realized the other day that I don't have, I, I want, like, some really close relationships. I don't have any kids, and uh, I'm not married right now, so so just those really, I, I got a few buddies and all, but I I don't, you know, I, will, I feel like I missed out on really close um friendships in terms of how close they let me to get to know them you know like I got some buddies I've known for years and things like that but it's sort of more of an ego type of relationship you know and 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 I want to I feel like I've missed out on on a knowing people who have families and that kind of life uh, in a deep way you know I find myself when people start speaking about their family or the dynamics of um you know what's going on or who did this and how it affected that it's sort of this intuitive feeling type of stuff i noticed that i'll i'll start getting lost a little bit you know <laughs> they'll still, they're not speaking logically they're just speaking in these terms of like you know uh this and that and and, and i'll i'll get lost a little bit i will admit it, you know so i i feel like i missed out on 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 personally knowing the the intrinsic of a, of a family dynamic you know i don't really i don't really uh, have too much experience inside of that as an adult at least okay. yeah, yeah um so you you got into uh philosophies and, and whatnot could you summarize what you learned on that it's interesting to know hey i have learned so much man uh i've learned that i mean I've learned that this whole this whole experience is just a duality of energy. You know, it's a, it's a it's it's similar to it's somewhat it's like an illusion, right? It's like it's like our minds are working in a way that see things one way or the other, but in the truth, down the center is the truth. You know, I've learned uh, that you know everything's a positive and a negative, 
and uh, and they're stuck together on, on a pendulum. You know, there's a duality there, and that corresponds to to energy, to the mind, and to perceptions. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so for me, there's nothing that's good or bad. There's nothing that's right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. There's nothing that's true or not true. You know, everything just simply is. You know, and that's it. You know, so. We can choose to perceive things in a, in a way that is, um, you know, that is positive because everything that's negative is actually something that is gearing us toward, you know, overcoming it. So, so in truth, there's nothing here that's that's actually negative. That's what suffering is. Suffering is the journey of overcoming, and overcoming is what evolution is. And so, we're all here to evolve through our struggle, and so we should embrace that as what is good. What is good is actually preventing us from struggling and growing further. So, so, you know, it's like, but, you you know, I only can know that because I experienced that personally uh, by, by something outside of myself that, that forced me to, to see that Uh, for a long time after that happened, I was trying to convey that to people. And um, I quickly realized that, that, um, that's really not possible, you know, in terms of just conceptually. So, so uh, I tried to now, instead of, you know, saying that to people and stuff, is I'm just, I finally learned to sort of just become, become what I know or what I feel rather than try to say or teach because the mind's designed in a way where a person cannot accept that. They can't accept what they cannot experience. So, so that's what I've learned, man. I, but uh, I, the whole process of me doing that was necessary, though, you know, mm-hmm. sort of like you got to beat yourself up over and over and over again until finally you realize that, OK, hey, this is just something that I, that, uh, that I need to represent as myself and not not try to, you know, bestow upon each other people. You know what I mean? That's sort of more of just like, you know, my my my, you know, my ego wanting to I want to help them. Right. But but uh, yeah, it's not it's not helpful in that way. So. That's what I've learned, man. I've learned to just bring it all into me and try to try to just be my best version of myself. And and, and that will actually, you know, allow others to see that in themselves, perhaps. And and I got a long way to go on that, too. Yeah, I still make a lot of mistakes and stuff. And so, so but, but I'm getting better, I feel. OK, uh, how do you feel? Sure. Oh, great. I assume you're not getting my messages. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I'm writing. I'm Shelly. You know I'm taking notes here. I didn't. Let me check. I I just have to take oh. off. Oh, you gotta go. Well, I mean, like drive. Like I have to bring my son to work, so I'm only part of the way there. But I wanted to check and see if you were getting my messages because I didn't even get a message from you. Okay. Yeah, I changed phones, so that's why I wasn't sure. That's why I was interrupting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a message at all. Uh, okay. We know your type, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and break it down from what I got here. Okay. <laughs> Ready for it? Ready for it? Okay. Off the bat, dude, you are informative AF. You add a lot <laughs> of extra information. Uh, you go on tangents. You are yeah. okay, brother. Um, what I noticed, you said try to, uh, try to understand what's going on. Um, that's a TI perspective. So it's a TIFE axis, okay? Uh, you say you're on a journey that's progression, okay? Um, just want to get through life. You said I just want. I just went through life blank. That's progression again. Uh, accepting of uh, of different cultures. That's an FE approach. Um, when asked about the three things, you said smart, uh, picky, optimistic. Uh, whatever. Uh, what's good for everyone? So that, that's what you're looking for. You're trying to help everyone. That's more of an FE approach again. I have seen validated something myself. You have to see validate information yourself. That's a TI approach, okay? That's a TIFE approach. Uh, yeah. See what's uh, into something. Um, so that's TIFE again, poke holes into their logic. Um, that's TIFE again, know something isn't true. That's TIFE again, help others, helpful to others. That's FE, well, TIFE again, understand uh, each other easier. That's what you said your, your mission would be. Uh, that, that's a T-I-F-E again. Um, we are all here on this journey. That's progression again. People look at the world in different uh, views. 
Um, that's an ADSI approach. Best way to get a system to move forward. That's a systematic approach. Um, looking inside the system and making it better. That's a TI uh, approach and systematic approach. Okay, uh, I can streamline something. That's a systematic approach. I don't know, but it will come to, to me eventually. That's what you're talking about, like uh, in 10 years. That's a progression approach. Um, want to build- yeah, I know. I knew I was pretty TI heavy coming in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want to build connections with close friends and family. That's an FE approach. Uh, but you get lost when they're not speaking logically. That's a TI approach. Dualities of energy, illusions. Um, that was a abstract. Uh, in truth, down the center is, you said, in, in, I said something, I can't read my hand right, I'm trying to write now fast, but you said something down the center is where the truth lies. Usually, yeah. dualities. Uh, that, that's TI again. Um, there's nothing that is good or bad. That's your FI tricks are talking. You, yeah. <laughs> you know what's good or bad. They believe anything could be good or bad. And you really got into talking about suffering. Um, and that's a SI, N E T I F E approach to life, believing that suffering contributes to growth. Um, without suffering, S E N I T I F E users do not believe that there's growth. Um, they right. In, in the in the journey of suffering is where yeah. they will become a diamond. Um, what is good is preventing us from suffering. That was another S I N E T I F E approach. I can only know uh know that from my experience myself. That's an S I approach. Uh, become what I know and feel. That's an S E N I approach. That's kind of like being like water. Um, yeah. beat yourself over beat yourself up over and over again. That's more suffering. S I N E um, and I want to help them. That's in more an FE approach. So based on all of that, um, you're informative, your journey focused. So that would make you uh, a starter um, or a get things going type. So that means you would be in the branch of ESFP, e, ENFP, ENTP, and ESFJ. You're obviously uh, abstract and you're obviously a TI user. So born off that alone, um, you're an ENTP, man. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, what, what did you think you were? Uh, I, I ENTP has came into my own. I thought ISTP, uh, uh, a couple of times just because, just because, uh, uh, just because of the TI hero and then, and then like, uh, and then FE, you know, but I was, conf I knew TI FE, honestly, but I was confused about the other two. So what you're telling me doesn't, doesn't surprise me. You know what I mean? It was hard for me to see if I'm any or an I, honestly. And then and see, I'm really good at physical things. You know what I mean? I'm really good at observing the outer world. I catch little stuff. So I wasn't, so I mean, I wasn't sure about, you know, SESI or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and for my life, you know, this whole abstract and the philosophy side about me, that wasn't really part of me prior to that, that, that two years ago. You know, it's like, it's like, that was almost like, that life and then after that happened then i'm sort of like this way now so it's been a shift of my entire self from that perspective to this new perspective you know i've been i haven't been like this my whole my whole life so that's why it's hard for me to to really see myself right because it's like the the awakening it, it, it made my mind experience all of the functions simultaneously you know and by the time i was out of it i really didn't know who i was anymore you know so now i'm just certain ways so uh, so i thought istp but i wasn't positive you know i i've flipped i've done i've done too much research into stuff to uh i've, I've built myself my own biases <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i i have no idea but but entp uh was one of the ones that i also was was believing you know that that it was possible anything with ti in the top two i i i've told myself i was several times so so yeah. i don't know but that's that makes sense to me brother yeah, yeah. So uh, you just went on a tangent of talking right there. Right. <laughs> as fuck. Uh, ICPs are direct. So they're specific, concise, and to the point. Right, uh, right. You did that sound specific, concise, and to the point just then. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. based Good on point, that, man. even point. that alone, that, that would be eliminated. And you would be okay. to, again, uh, giving off a shitload of extra information. <laughs> for sure but, but i gotta cover right. everything right yeah before i finally settle in with what i'm okay what i'm saying yeah 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 so yeah man you got any questions man uh no that was cool man nice and quick yeah. thank you
Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, you you do mind me uh posting this on, on I YouTube? want you to, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, dope, dope, man. Uh, I hope to see you in the group, man. It's, I love sure. the EPs, man. They they uh they always keep you on the cutting edge of things, man. Um, yes, yes. The ideas yes. and whatnot. They're very good with idea generating. That's what's up. Um, and I I feel like you know um eventually you know they. They find their way eventually to yeah. what works for them. And um, when they hit it, yeah. they hit it. You haven't noticed most of the celebrities are a couple of types. INTJ, ENTP, ISFP. Uh, that's, that's, that's most of them right there. INFJ. Yeah. 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 Yeah, ENTP. I'm sort of a late bloomer. It took me a while to mature more than more than some people in their early years, but but now uh, now that I've arrived, you know what I mean. I'm like locked and loaded. So yeah, yeah man. Uh, it was it was a great session, man. But I gotta cool. go. I gotta take a shower, man. All right, All right bro. bro. Thank you. All right, no problem. Take care.